Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at how we can use Light LLM with Olama. So I'm going to tell you about both Light LLM and Olama if you are not aware. So first of all, Olama is a framework also available, you know, as like a Python library, you know, to work with and also available as an standalone application to download and work with. That basically helps you run or inference large language models or language models in general so for example if you want to you know run these llms open source llms or open weights llm locally olama basically provides you a way where you can use it uh, you know with just few lines of command or few lines of code or you know of course few lines of command through cli as well and it is also compatible with orchestration frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index, Haystack, and so on and so forth. So we're going to use Olama here to basically inference local LLMs. Now, light LLM. Okay. See, most of the time in enterprises, what happens when you're working, you know, for bigger corporations or also in startups, there will be a requirement of, you know, using multiple LLMs for given use cases. So if you are building a product or an application where, you, where, where there is a need of, you know, calling or inferencing multiple LLMs, you need something called LLM gateway. So you need a gateway that will basically route it to different LLMs. For example, while we are talking, there are more than 15,000 large language models that exist. Okay, I'm not talking about the, you know, the smaller fine tuned and all. I'm just talking about the models, uh, the, the bigger models which are available. Now imagine if you want to use multiple models, you need a gateway for that, right? You need some someone that will route you, you know, based on, of course, there are different variables. We're going to talk about it. So Light LLM is basically a, a proxy. You know, it's a Python SDK, Software Development Toolkit, a proxy, basically a gateway that helps you, you know, connect with hundreds of LLMs. That's what Light LLM does. Now, uh, it's very important when we are building you know something on top of agents you know ai agents where there's a need of you know leveraging multiple llms and tools and so on and so forth right light llm is not the only one there are a lot of other libraries and frameworks now available they have been like for a while you know port key for example is very good you know so there are a lot of others so let's jump in and see how we can do that now if you look at here on my screen i am on light llm github repository it says you know i'm a it's a python sdk proxy server llm gateway to call 100 plus llm apis in open ai format also this is the important thing because open ai format is like you can use open ai libraries and also get the input outputs of both pre-processing post-processing and everything is supported because open ai have created a library that we have been using and it has its own structure you know recently gemini also has been made available through open ai like i have a video on that so that's also in open ai format which people have been already using it so you don't have to probably migrate right if you're already using open ai so uh that's what it is and i'm gonna do that in collab pro you know i'm using collab pro you will be able to do it in collab without the paid one as well the first thing that we're gonna do is install olama so you can do that in your local machine as well depending on if you want to use a like a smaller model on cpu feel free to do that do that as well it's not a rocket science you can do that there as well now it's very simple to install olama mainly on the linux machines you know windows you have an exe that well that you can download and install it you just do olama.ai and then it's a script file that you do install.sh to install it and then just use the pipe and then install. That's how easy it is. I mean, when you do that, right? What it does, you can see it's basically installing and downloading Linux MD because when you use Ubuntu, uh, when you use the uh, Colab uh, environment, it's based on Ubuntu machines, right? On GCP. So that's why we are using this. You know, if you're on Windows, you'll be probably using it in a very different way. Okay, let me just plug in my charger, guys. Just give me a minute. Now, that once that is done, the next step will be let it let it install it will take a bit of time you know to do that you know so that's okay All right. Okay. So once that is done, I have a GitHub gist because I'm just doing a few things. I'm just going to bring up here. 
so i'm just installing cuda drivers you know if if because i was getting an error you know or because i'm using l4 gpu so maybe you should check it out first if, if you really need this command you know to basically work in colab because colab already has cuda drivers installed in in it but if not then you know probably if you you, you also need that now once that is done i want to show you something on colab olama uh, website let me just bring up here Okay, once this is happening, let me go to Olama. Now, if you come to Olama, okay, over here, go to models. Now, in the models, you can find out all the supported models. Even you can use models like vision model, the multimodal capabilities that these models have, right? Where they can deal with different dimensions like media, images, and you can also use that, you know, for, for that purpose. Models in 11B and 90B sizes. Of course, you need the infrastructure to run this. Now, probably we'll, we'll have a look at Llama 3.2, one of the most used and downloaded pulls. If you look at here, 2.5 million pulls, you know, which is like humongous. So Llama 3.0 and Llama 3.2, both. So Llama 3.2, you know, that's what we're gonna use here. You know, go small with 1 billion and 3 billion models. So if you click on this, this is how you pull it. So it has 1 billion and 3 billion models. So if you, if you look at 1 billion, you know, this is like one, and if you look at 3 billion, then this is three. Okay, not only that, you can also download, you know, uh, these models in different. Just give me a minute. Okay, let me go back. Yeah, now if you come down, I want to show you a few other things as well. Then we're going to talk about it. You see, Llama 3.1, Gemma 2, QN 2.5, Mistral. A lot of models are supported uh, via these guys. And if if not, then you can also you can also bring your own models through Olama, I have shown that, that how you can bring your own model through Olama as well. Now, you can see this is done. So let me just come down. You can see it says processing triggers, blah, blah, blah. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you know, hop. Now, this is all Linux command. Okay, we have to serve Olama. So I'm just gonna do Olama serve, and then M% and then when you run it, right, appending output to no hop data. This is fine. Now, we're gonna pull a model. So the command to, run and let me show you okay if you do olama list you can see there's a command of course there are a lot of other commands you can have a look olama list means to find out if there are models which are already available but here not all the more like there is no model which are available right now when you do olama list so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a model so this is this is how you pull a model in your env that you are using the environment the command is olama pull and you can see it's showing you now here i'm going to use the fe16 variant of llama 3 8 billion model so it's an old model but that's what i'm going to do you can bring up any other model as well so i'm going to use llama 3 and i'm going to use the 8 billion model and not this uh the not the not the weight that we have so you can bring it up in fp16 floating point 16 which is data type so because just to make sure that it works with our infra Okay, there are other weights variants that you can also bring up in. Now I'm gonna bring instruct FP16, and you can feel free to use any other model. If you want to use Llama 3.2 or you want to use any other model, you can just use that uh, from the same command. Okay, now you can see it's it's pulling manifest. This will take a bit of time because it has to load a lot of files. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back come back once this is done. Alrighty, so you can see that we have successfully pulled the model. So if I just now do, you can find out the name of the model. Say so Llama 38B instruct FV 16, 16 GB file, 25 seconds ago. So, and you can bring up more models depending on the infra. Bring up Llama 3.2, QN or any other model you want. It's up to you. Now, I'm gonna do pip install light LLM. So far we have the old Llama model guys. You know, the model is there. Now the idea is to use this through light LLM. Okay, that's that's where the idea is. And through light LLM, you cannot like you don't not only get to work with local LLMs, but you can the same way you can work with the closed source models like Anthropic Cloud or Gemini or you know OpenAI GPT or, or models or whatever. So let me just do that. So what I'm gonna do is light LLM is installed. Now once light LLM is installed, we're gonna import from light LLM import completion because as i said it supports uh open ai right uh like open ai format so we're going to use completion so let me just do response and if you want to 
learn more about it let me come down here and so you so if you look at here this is how you can use you know light llm import os open ai cohere any other models and you can see open ai call and the same way you can call uh here call as well so I, i'll just show you how you can just do it and of course after that you will feel free to do it now in completion i'm passing the model name which is llama 38 b instruct fp16 response equals completion and then we write write messages okay so let me just bring remove this now messages and in the messages we you know it's a uh you pass the content first which is like you can give it write uh fast api code to make an api call you just write like this and then after that you give, give it like a role or something so you can give so role is an user you can also define system prompt so here i'm just going to give role and then you give this role a user okay so which is an user role now that's how you can define this and then you give an api base so just for your information if you're running o llama you know that runs on port 434 local host 411434 so that's what we're gonna write here you don't probably need the api you can build serverless api endpoint as well guys using olama you can ex you know ex you can basically bring up all your model and expose that as an api endpoint as well now here excuse me i'm just gonna do print response so let's just do print response LLM provider not provided. Pass in the LLM provider. LLM provider from completions model completions response. Olama Olama three. Okay. There is a there is a wrong. I, this will be Olama. This should be Olama Lama three point Lama three eight b. Okay. And now this should work. Print response. Now this will print the output, but probably not the. It will print with all the verbose logs that we have probably you have to parse that when you want to parse it so let me just do that you know you get get the messages and then you get the content out of it right so you have the choice just like how we do how we do with open ai so with open ai we do you know choice and the first choice that we have so it's a list so something like that so let me just write it over here meanwhile it's happening so variable name is response and you can see it has given you an output now in response we're going to pass the choices so let me just do that and in the which choice that we are getting we are getting the first choice and in the choices we need the message and then content so let me just do that message and then you need the content and when you do that you, you get the output so you can see here it says here is an example you know of how and if you just do markdown to is it markdown i don't know okay we can have a we can come here and see if there's a markdown just want to convert you can also use to convert it there as well in collab okay now you can see it says here is an example of how you can create a simple api using fast api that makes another api call and you can find out over here so how easily we are using olama to you know use local llms guys inference and that too with uh, light llm now not only this now with light llm as we know if you if you go to their github repository as well you can find out you know this is how you have to do it so let me just do that so you have this response right just copy this response this is how you can bring up different you know uh, model supports you know if you just have to remove this when you are using olama you have to write olama slash but when you are using you know like gpt 4o or something you just can just pass it like this so you have gpt 4o mini and in the second one you can just write anthropic model or cloud model or gemini model you can you can just write gemini 1.5 flash or something and you know these of course these these will not these are not required when you use those closed source model because you are not uh, running the inference locally you can just do like this and this remains the same for olama right and this is all remains same now to bring up here what you have to do you have to do import os and then from google.collab dot google.collab import user data or something and when you do that let me just show you and then here you bring up uh os dot in one okay so you have to set that in envs you know you set you can see open ai's dot key and then we set up gemini okay so we're gonna set up google api key right it should be google underscore api key and then you set up set over here 
Google API key and it will ask you to grant access and I'm just gonna give the grant access if you don't know what 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 I'm doing right now grant access and all I'll show you so here if you look at in the keys in the left hand side I have all the keys and when you give grant access Google API keys and open AI API keys get enabled you know access has been granted now this is a good way of uh, working guys because then you are not exposing your API keys to everyone you know which is like safe and this is how you can do it okay now it's, it's pretty easy guys you know to work with you can like route it to any any model that you are working you know with light LLM and Olama like you can use both closed source and open source model to do that you know with light LLM and that's why I wanted to show you in this video you know I hope you got a bit of idea that how you can of course install Olama in Colab or Colab Pro very easy you don't you don't also need to see Google Colab Pro also provide you a terminal you know if you look at this in the terminal you can do the same thing with the terminal as well I, I'm not sure if this is available in the free one I don't think so uh, but yeah Colab Pro you get that in okay uh, this is what I wanted to show so how you can use Olama with light LLM if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box if you have any questions reach out to our discord community you know we have a discord server I'll give the link in description please join that uh, we help each other solve problems and a lot of other things that you find it out on discord if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one